Well, it's wonderful to welcome you to the UK, but also to Downing Street, Jens. Thank you for being here. And, and you'll know that the, the NATO alliance is a cornerstone of the UK's security. We're proud to be the second largest contributor, and we remain extremely committed to the alliance. And I also know under your leadership that NATO will continue to evolve to face the new threats that we're all seeing, uh, and of course work with you and other allies to support Ukraine uh, against Russian aggression. I know this morning uh, we announced that we're sending more kit to the Ukrainian armed forces to help them through the winter, also a thousand surface-to-air missiles so that they can better defend themselves. Uh, and I know this morning you were with the Defence Secretary visiting the training that we're doing for Ukrainian soldiers. So we're very grateful for you being here and I look forward to our discussions. And as I said, NATO is absolutely critical to our security. We're proud to be a strong member of the Alliance. Thanks so much, Richie, and it's great to be here together with you and to be invited to visit you and to, to come back to the Downing Street 10. Uh, and, uh, uh, thank you for your warm welcome, but also thank you for your strong uh, support to uh, NATO, to our transatlantic alliance. In a more dangerous world, it's even more important that we have a strong uh, bond between North America and Europe in NATO, as we have. And uh, uh, the United Kingdom uh, contributes to our uh, collective defense in many different ways. You lead the multinational battle group uh, in Estonia. Uh, you uh, keep the skies over our eastern fl flank uh, safe with the uh, UK uh, air policing uh, and then you also contribute a lot of ships, maritime capabilities to our uh, naval missions and uh, patrols. Uh, and then of course uh, the United Kingdom has been and is a lead nation when it comes to providing support to Ukraine. Uh, you have trained uh, Ukrainian soldiers for many years uh, but now actually you stepped up after the invasion and uh, as you mentioned I visited the UK training facility uh, where I met uh, brave Ukrainian soldiers being trained by, trained by uh, UK uh, uh, trainers but also trainers from other NATO allied countries and that shows the leading role you have in the alliance and, uh, and then uh, I'm, I'm absolutely certain that I can continue to count on the United Kingdom in, in a more contested world uh, uh, and that we all need to invest more in our collective defense in, the, in a world where we are more challenged by authoritarian regimes. So thank you so much for having me here today. Well, uh, thank you for those warm words. Lots for us to talk about, so well, let's get on with it. Thank you very much. Thank you.